Hi guys, hope you're all doing good. Today's tutorial is very important, so please pay attention. We're going to be talking about decision making. Imagine you had a child and you wanted to tell it how to make a decision on a certain issue. For instance, the issue of, you know, being approached by someone. You would tell that child, if that person is a stranger, run away. If that person is a friend, stay around and talk to them, okay? So you're telling that kid what to do when a certain event happens, right? You're giving it different cases, different scenarios, and telling it how to handle those cases, or telling him or her how to handle those cases. Okay, so we can do the same thing with the computer. We can tell it what to do when certain things happen. Say we wanted to write a program that asks the user to enter a value and if that value was greater than five it can um, I don't know anything it can print out the value or it can it can print out the statement this value is greater than five okay and if it's less than five that the the, the, the value that the user enters we can just do nothing right so if the value the user enters is greater than five all we want to do is print out on the screen this value is greater than five okay okay so this is how we start let's make uh, let's declare a variable called double and call it X and then uh, ask the user to enter a value for X and then this is the if statement if and this is a syntax if is a reserved word if and then we write the condition right here which the condition is always a boolean expression X is greater than five okay so if x is greater than 5, then see out this statement. This value is greater than 5. Right? Okay. Let's try to debug that. Start without debugging. Yes. There you go. Okay. So let's enter the value 9. Because 9 is greater than 5. We know that already, right? So okay this value is greater than five that's what the computer outputted for us and that's because we told it to do so we told the computer right here if the user enters a value that is greater than five then please oh great computer see out this statement right it's very simple guys so whatever you tell it it does right it's just a syntax follow follow the syntax you know it's really easy if this is the if statement the condition goes here on the same line this is the condition right and it's in parentheses, it has to be in parentheses. The condition is always a Boolean expression. We talked about what Boolean expressions are, right? Um, if this Boolean expressions, or this if this Boolean expression evaluates to one, that means if this is true, okay, the computer will actually go inside the if statement and this, this is the inside of the if statement. And it'll actually apply or execute this statement, okay? If not, it'll just move on to the next statement, which might be see out something else, like see out uh, this is going to print to be printed printed either way, right? Okay, so it's just going to move on to the next statement. Like now, this is not connected to this condition right here. This statement, see out this is going to be printed either way, has nothing to do with this condition, right? So let's start without debugging and let's try to enter the value of one and see what happens okay so one enter this is going to be printed out either way now what happened was the compiler came to this point okay after it declared x as a very x, x as a double and then asked the user to enter x where it was waiting for us to enter a value it came to this point and it looked at this if statement if x was greater than 5, or if x is greater than 5, this is a Boolean expression, okay, it's going to do this right here, okay? If this evaluates to true, or evaluates to 1, it's going to do this statement right here. It's going to actually execute it. If, if not, then just move on to the rest of the code, which, you know, can be here, uh, anywhere in the code, you know, just underneath that if statement, right? Because this condition can only take one statement like this, right? If we wanted it to do like multiple statements, that's something else. We would have it, you know, like in in um, in curly brackets like that. Now what's going to happen is 
the compiler is going to come here and then ask, is x equal is x greater than five? If no, if yes, it's going to print out both of these statements, or it's going to execute both of these statements. It's going to do whatever is in those parent those uh, not parentheses but curly brackets, okay, and then move on to the rest of the code and then apply anything else, okay. So if so, this this can't be called. This is not you know going to be printed out in either way. It's going to be printed out only if x is indeed greater than 5. Okay? And we can add any other statement we want. You know, that's basically... And we can change the conditions. So I want you guys to play around with the if statement and um, see what you can do with it. And don't worry if you don't understand it. We'll talk about it some more in my next video. So, uh, yeah. Just before you watch my next video, just play around with this and see what you can do about it. So this is the basic if statement, okay? It's always better to have, even if you have one statement, it's always better to have it in um, parentheses like this because this way you're organized and you're telling, you know, you're, you're kind of clear on what's what's inside the if statement and what's outside, okay? So just always have the parentheses like that, okay? That way, you know, if you, this, this, this will be known to be outside of the parentheses or outside of the if statement. You know what I mean? This is the scope of the if statement. This is not. This is the rest of the code. So yeah, it's always good practice to, to be organized like this. Anyways, watch my next video and don't worry about you know if don't worry about it if you didn't understand this tutorial. Okay, bye.